I cannot tell you what a relief it is, Detective. I've learned the moods of our patrons well enough to tell you the tensions are high. That is the crime scene again. Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me, Detective. Any thoughts on the case? I'm afraid not, Detective. Perhaps you'd better speak with Maxwell for that. Need to restock on hunting or fishing supplies? Let's see what you have. Something for everyone. for clues. And when you're ready, we can discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents. But their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. Is this... blood? Looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. There. 
we go. Baseball bat? <laughs> what is this doing here? Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. Oh no. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died. And then who had the means and motive to kill him? Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? about the murder. It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Hmm? Oh. We were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Maybe later. Okay. Just let me know how I can help.
got it. Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps. If all we are is a sentient floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? It's about composition, the balance of colors and emotions, and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda, number 1378. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself this way. Tell me, what does this one say to you? It's the war. Bombs from every direction, no up or down, the world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. Our 
art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. We must ascend. And what about this one? And please be honest, for art without honesty is just politics. It's a metaphor. A young creature grappling with ideas it doesn't possess the capability to understand. Intriguing. The mind will superimpose meaning where none was intended. I had not considered it. Truth be told, this is my best-selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I take the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man? Huh? My fellow connoisseur of the art, here to see my latest work. Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I am one of the premier artists in the world. My work is primarily in oil paint, but I have been known to do sculpture or performance art as well. any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You can hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gildo probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, didn't, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, was there something else, a detective? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Oh, well, that's not really my field of expertise, but I'm sure there are probably some clues at the crime scene. Oh, was there something else, a detective? Did you have a question about the heinous murder? I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. What's with all the junk in here? These 
are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault has completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parker, and vault Tech won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs has... Sounds like Ezra was embezzling from his investors. I found some evidence that Ezra was embezzling from you and the other investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Parker wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, Detective. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well. Had to end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence, detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. Ezra? You're alive. Well, congratulations on catching up, detective. Yes, I've been masquerading as Juliana for some time now. What's it going to be, detective? Join me in getting rich? Or die defending some outdated ideals? Why did you kill Juliana? I hadn't planned on it, but Juliana figured out what I was doing and 
had to be dealt with swiftly. I thought I could get a bit more money out of this place before making my escape. Well, how is this going to go down? If I'm gonna let you go, I want a cut of what you've stolen. Oh, so it's like that, eh? Fine. I'll grease your palm a bit, detective. Now, am I free to go? Not a chance. Your murder spree stops here. Then let us end this.